So I get questions all the time about how I color grade drone footage, so I decided to make a short movie showing you all how I do so. So the sample clip we're going to use today is a few seconds of flying the drone over a neighborhood here in Austin. So the first step is figuring out which footage you want to use and identifying the clip. Once the clip is in Premiere, we're going to just set the in and out points and drag the footage into the timeline, which I've already done here. Now everyone has their own strategy here, but my first step is always to add an adjustment layer. That's where I'm going to add all of my corrections to, and it's going to sit on top of the video so we can turn it on and off to see the original versus the corrected footage. So clicking over into the effect controls panel, we're able to see all the characteristics of the adjustment layer, and we're going to be able to drop all of our effects into that below. I use three main effects. The first one's called RGB Curves, and you can just drag it over to the Effects Controls panel, and you can also drag it straight onto the adjustment layer in the timeline. The next two that I use are called Fast Color Corrector and Three-Way Color Corrector, and I always do them in that order because I'm super OCD. So starting out with RGB Curves, there is a cheat sheet way to do this. It's called Lumetri Scopes, so if you go up to Help and type in Scopes, it should be the first one that appears. So we're looking at the left-hand chart in the Lumetri scopes, the big green one, and the goal is to make all the information extend from the very top to the very bottom. So we can do that by moving the top right of the master in RGB curves to the left to expose the highlights further in the image. And similarly with the shadows, we can move the bottom left of the master further over to the right. We can see how much we've done by just toggling on and off the adjustment layer with a little eyeball looking thing. So moving on to Fast Color Corrector next, this is where we're going to set the white balance. So we're going to open the Fast Color Corrector and scroll down to where we see white balance and it's as easy as finding something white in the image. We're going to use that car right there. Click on the dropper and boom! And the last thing I'm going to do with Fast Color Corrector is set the overall saturation. So I usually go up to 120 when shooting in D-Cine-like mode, which this is. And again, we can see how much we've done by turning on and off that adjustment layer with the eyeball. Another cool way to see the difference between corrected and uncorrected footage is to move the edge of your adjustment layer to the middle of the video. And you can do this under Motion in the Effects Controls panel. It gives you a cool way to play the movie and see the before and after at the same time. After putting up my Mavic vs. Phantom comparison video, which is in the description down there, I got a lot of comments saying that log was too flat. So I listened, and I'm filming in D-Cinelect now, which is a little bit more rich, a little bit warmer of a picture, um, but just for the sake of argument, here's how to correct log footage on the Mavic. And here it is, pretty gray and boring. This is some unused footage from the Mavic vs. Phantom comparison video that I did. You'll also notice how all the data in the Lumetri scopes is stored in the bottom part there, making it really gray and dull and boring. So the first step, as always, is going to be adding an adjustment layer, and then those three adjustments that we talked about earlier, RGB curves, fast color corrector, and three-way color corrector. So first things first, using the master on the RGB curves and the Lumetri scopes, we're going to bring the highlights all the way up to 100 and the shadows down to zero. And we can already see what a difference this makes. So moving on to set the white balance, we're going to go to Fast Color Corrector, and we got really lucky with this FedEx van in this shot here. So similarly to the last clip, we're just going to grab the eyedropper and change that. And finally, we're going to add some saturation. So here's where I'm going to use the three-way color corrector. And we can use the eyedroppers to select the shadows, midtones, and highlights of the image, and then adjust the saturations of each accordingly. I think this gives a really neat richness and fullness to the image that you don't get just from adjusting the overall saturation. Also, I can use this adjustment to really make certain colors pop, so I'm going to pull some green out of the midtones here. And man, what a difference this correction has made. I really think a cool way to do this, again, is to put the edge of that adjustment layer in the middle of the video and then play it back. 
Like and subscribe for more videos like this. And as a bonus, here's some awesome footage I caught the other day in downtown Austin. Let me have you.